Thank you for joining us, Thijs. Um, recently, a new set of tools for the European's development cooperation uh, with Latin America, with Asia and the rest of the world has been agreed after uh, quite a long set of negotiations. What, uh, from your part, is the most exciting change or innovation in this new set of tools for development cooperation? In the development policy instrument. Yeah. In the development co cooperation instrument, the most exciting new element to me is that it would allow, it will allow the European Union, if it has the political will, because it all boils down to that question, where is the political will to exist, mm. but if the political will is there, then the EU with this instrument, DCI, can be an effective global player in precisely those political issues where the EU can prove its added value on human rights, on democracy, on rule of law, on the plight of the most vulnerable groups in the world, uh, and also on sustainable development, energy, climate action. A key issue in the negotiations of these instruments was the role of the European Parliament. How will the European Parliament, together with the European Commission and the European Council, make sure that these new instruments are used most effectively? There is one regulation that uh, organizes the way these instruments will be implemented. And this common regulation sees to it that there will be measurable indicators on the results of every single piece of external action by the European Union. We have been demanding this consistently throughout the last few years, and I'm very happy to see that the European Commission will now be, uh, so to speak, forced to see to it that policies will be measurable in their results so that our taxpayers know what comes out of it and that also populations in partner countries see the measurable effect of policies. Good, thank you. EU-Africa relations have been much discussed recently, uh, including around and after the summit. Um, what is your take, Thijs, on the outcome of the EU-Africa summit and EU-Africa relations in the years to come? I think, uh, unfortunately, very often this kind of summits uh, amount to a lot of goodwill expressed and many beautiful words, and I demand to see results and action. Uh, we can have an EU-Africa strategy but the strategy is nothing is no, if no one feels committed to see to it that the strategy exists in real life. And very often this is the case. It demands from the EU and its member states to work much more closely together and to, to hold each other to account as to their objectives, whether they meet them, whether they respect them. And it also allows African countries to hold the EU to account on the same thing and themselves. We need to be accountable when it comes to poverty reduction and a sustainable, fair development of the world at large and of Africa in particular. As you well know, Thijs, we are nearing the next uh, European Parliament elections. I would like to ask you, what is your message to the next EU leadership? I think the next EU Commission and the Commissioner for Development together with the Commissioner for Humanitarian Aid Commission, and of course the High Representative, should first of all organize a worldwide conference because, on development, because the European Union is no longer the only donor, still the biggest, but no longer the only one. There are new donors in the field and the EU has to rethink its role. What can we be for whom and with whom? We have to tackle poverty, but not only in Africa, also in Europe. Uh, there are new donors. What is our role? What do we want to bring? And this is, only th something, this is something you can only find out while speaking with others. Naval, st naval gazing doesn't bring you any new knowledge. So you have to organize an international conference on a global partnership to eradicate poverty. And that will bring a new role for Europe. 2015 has recently been hailed as the European Year of Development. What will it take to make best use of this opportunity, in your opinion? 
a European Year for Development, 2015. It was the initiative of uh, Concord as an umbrella, an NGO umbrella, and of a few MEPs like me, uh, three, of all, the three of us, will allow Europe to think about its responsibility for a fair and sustainable globalization in which we use resources wisely, respect individuals from whichever group they are, and respect a fair chance for everyone to take part in the economy, in society, in life. This is a responsibility that is common to us, but in particular for the richest countries in the world, and many of them are in Europe. So I hope that there will be many, many, many uh, events throughout the year 2015 to highlight this responsibility and this unique role Europe can take in the world.